Welcome back to Miss P's Book Nook. I'm Miss P. And I'm Zoe. And we are so very excited to have you back with us this evening. Now, Zoe and I know that you're looking around and you're probably wondering what's going on. Yes, we know this is a little different, but Zoe and I decided that tonight's book is so special that it just deserved to be told at bedtime. And we have the perfect story. We sure do. Tonight's story is about a little boy named Eddie, and he is a night owl, and he loves to stay up late. For some reason, any time that it's bedtime, Eddie's wheels begin to spin. Now he's wondering if there's something that he can do or some place that he can go in order to solve his little sleeping issue. Miss P, is there a special place for kids like that? And me? I don't know, and I think we're going to have to read tonight's story in order to find out. So, Zoe, let's not make our friends wait any longer. Without further ado, please introduce our book. This evening, we are reading Night School, written and illustrated by Loris Lisinski. Go to bed. I've told you 90,000 times, his frazzled mother said. But Eddie wasn't sleepy. Just like every other night, his brain was rock and rolling and his eyes were nickel bright. Eddie was a night owl. He loved to stay up late. There has to be a place for me. Now wouldn't that be great? And sure enough, he found one on a list of special schools. Sign me up, said Eddie, for some better bedtime rules. And so one evening later, Eddie didn't go to bed, but got aboard at 9 o'clock, the night school bus instead. He recognized a kid or two he knew from down the block. They zoomed along the silent streets, then rumbled to a stop. The night school lights were blazing. The door was open wide. Delighted and excited, Eddie rushed to get inside. A brand new batch of night owls, said a teacher all in black. Eddie shouted out, hello, but no one nodded back. It was just a little different from the school they'd had before. The chalk was made of coal dust. There were sparkles on the floor. The books had nighttime titles, there were night lights on the wall, and was that an all night party going on across the hall? First of all, they studied owls, then light bulbs, then the moon. They had such fun with werewolf howls that recess came too soon. Recess was at midnight, but instead of playing ball, the children watched the late show on a TV in the hall. Everybody Eddie knew was probably in bed. All his friends, his mom and dad, he pictured in his head. The teachers from the other school in nighties fast asleep. Imagine Gus who drove the bus in PJ's counting sheep. This is great, said Eddie to the children passing by. Nighttime is the right time, was the glassy-eyed reply. There were lots of nighttime topics for the stories they could write. They studied just the animals that stay awake at night. Eddie was dismayed at lunch to feel his eyelids closing. He started on his sandwiches to stop himself from dozing. A sandwich, snickered someone. What a daytime thing to eat. We get our snacks from La La Max, the nightclub down the street. The playground was as dark as mud. The air was cold and damp. Each kid got a miner's hat, a flashlight, or a lamp. Back in class, they learned the nighttime spelling words by heart. There were only nighttime colors for the paints they had in art. 
then 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. and tick and tick and tock. Eddie sighed, this night school has the planet's slowest clock. His eyes were getting scratchy, his head was full of sand. He felt too zonk to sit up straight, too calm to lift his hand. What was that so creepy in the shadows on the wall? Eddie felt so sleepy he could hardly think at all. I wonder when it's morning, Eddie yawned behind his pack. A new kid said a bad word, shouted someone at the back. New students to the office, said the teachers with a glare. The children wobbled to their feet and started up the stairs. The second floor was even more peculiar than the first. The third was cold and clammy. The next one smelled the worst. Was Eddie just imagining the ghosts along the halls? Were there monsters in the corny, skulking low against the walls? The last floor was so scary that they didn't want to stop. But the principal was looming in the doorway at the top. You're just the kind of kids we want, he said with fervent glee. I'm pleased to say your future looks as dark as it could be. Now you'll go to school all night and you'll get to sleep all day. Your dungeon rooms are ready. This is where you'll stay. But, 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 said Eddie. But, but, what about our friends? Our other school, our homes, our rooms. You mean this never ends? Eddie started backing down the dark and dusty hall. Night school is a fright school, not a proper school at all. It's just a hoax to make our folks agree to let us come. Let's go, he cried. The kids woke up and broke into a run. The creatures who were teachers cried, We have to have you here. The race began, the children ran, their hearts a thump with fear. Grabbing, snatching monsters came to catching them for good. This was like a nightmare. Eddie led the best he could. Then suddenly, a brainwave. Eddie wanted to rejoice. He shouted out, Good morning! in his most sunshiny voice. The nighttime creatures halted, ghastly faces all too near. Never, ever came the whisper, Do we use those words in here? Then grabbing stopped, the snatching stopped, they whimpered in retreat. And then the children hurtled home along the early morning street. Home at last, and Eddie found his parents at the door. We missed you so, oh please don't go to night school anymore. Exhausted, Eddie nodded, and exactly what he said was, Mommy, Mommy, Daddy, Daddy, let me go to bed. I beg you 90,000 times, I could not want it more. And sleep he did that day and night till life was like before. So Eddie's back in day school, and he goes to bed at 8. Soon he'll find a better way to stay up really late. He's glad he's not at night school, but every now and then, he wonders what they're doing there, then goes to sleep again. I think she's asleep. <laughs> I was going to ask her her favorite part, but I guess there's no point in that. Well, my favorite part is when Eddie decided that night school just wasn't for him. What was your favorite part? <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't concentrate over this snoring. Well... I'm looking at the time, guys, and I see that it's time to go. I'm so glad that you guys decided to join us this evening and try something new with us. Maybe we can have more bedtime stories. But in the meantime, that's our show. It's time to go.
from Miss Peace Nook. Good night, guys. Also, don't forget to tune in next week for a brand new story. See you then. Oh, 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 oh,